guys, it's me, and so today I'm here to bring you guys a little bit of an update video. So to start off, the rabbits are doing really, really well. They actually just got some brand new toys. I ordered them off of Amazon. Um, the first ones they got were these baby cups. They absolutely love these. They will throw them around all the time. I think they're like Lola's favorite toy, but they're really easy to pick up and throw. And they have like a little lip on the bottom, so they're just super easy to pick up. next toy that they got was this um, large willow tunnel. They actually really enjoy this and it was only $7 which is surprisingly cheap for a large willow tunnel. They can easily go through it as Lola just demonstrated. I also had to get them another atomic nut ball. I got them this uh, one of these in my hamster Amazon haul and they absolutely love this and they destroyed the last one. Um, sadly, they literally chew chewed it to bits, so I had to get them a another one. Then I got them one of these KT wood block ones. They don't really like play with this too much, but I just thought it was cute. And the last thing that I got them was kind of a interactive toy. So this is like the Living World, uh, I don't know what it's called, but it's like a Living World interactive toy. It has all of these holes here that you put like little treats in and then there's diff different difficulties. So they have to push this thing around to get at the treats. So it kind of helps them stimulate their brain and have to think a little bit to get the treats out. I also picked the rabbits some fresh um, romaine lettuce and some dandelion leaves. So I thought I would give them these on camera. Ooh. Yo, take it. Here's a dandelion leaf. We never had one of those. Here. Oh, look. All done. So Tater Tot has been doing awesome in her German inspired cage. She absolutely loves it and this cork log is her absolute favorite thing. She's actually peeking out from there but you can't see her because it's dark. But she always comes out when she hears the door open. I have um, upgraded a couple of things so I put in a bigger sand bath for her. Oh, Hi! What are you doing? You coming out to say hi? Hello! <laughs> another thing that I did add was just another little fence here because a couple of people were concerned um, that if she fell she would hurt herself. She's actually really really good at climbing up this ladder and going up and down and she knows where the edge is so she wouldn't really jump off of it. But it's just for safety. So she has gone back into her burrow now but she has been doing really really well. My next update is on Honey, who is no longer with the babies. They have been separated from their mother because they no longer need her. So she has very happily been moved into the Detoff, which is German inspired. There is a lot of natural things inside of the cage for her to do and she thoroughly enjoys this cage very much. Um, she's been trying out everything and exploring every nook and cranny and she also loves love loves forging for food when I hide seeds around the cage. That is probably one of her favorite things to do. Another thing she thoroughly enjoys is the wheel of course because she did have to go four weeks without having a wheel due to the fact that she did have babies and she wasn't allowed to have a wheel until separated. So now she can enjoy her cage all to herself and she really is happy. So the last update I have for you guys is of course on the baby hamsters. So the last time you guys seen the babies, they were so so small and since then they have been just growing like little weeds. 
So I actually did make a mistake in the video introducing them. I did say these two were sable bandits. They actually aren't. They are mink bandits, meaning they are going to be changing color, so they'll end up looking like honey. So I have figured out their genders and names for them and which one I am going to be keeping. So I will go through each of them and tell you their name and gender. So the first baby that I have here is Buzz and Buzz is a male. Buzz also is probably my craziest baby ham that I have. Um, he is the one to most likely try and escape everywhere and he also is a little bit of a nibbler and biter so I'm currently teaching him that that's not nice to do. The next baby I have is Dipper and his name was inspired by a honey dipper. Um, he also is a male and he is, I'm um, thinking he might end up long haired because the difference between his coat and Buzz's coat is a very big difference. As you can see he's a lot more fluffy so this is Dipper. So the last baby I have is Bumble and he as well is also a male. Bumble is also going to be the baby I have decided to keep. The reason I have decided to keep Bumble over the others is due to the fact that his coat coloring is different from Honey's as um, Dipper and Buzz are both going to end up looking like Honey so I just wanted to have a different colored Syrian. Um, Bumble as well is a lot more sweeter and calmer than the other two. The other two are a little bit crazy so that is why I've chosen Bumble. So yeah, those are the babies and I hopefully will be doing another update on them soon but they are doing super well and Buzz and Dipper will soon be going to their forever homes um, as soon as they are old enough. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Bye!